Hello and welcome back to headquarters. As you can see, maybe you can't, some things might have changed around here. So let's get into it. So welcome back to headquarters. Uh, as you can probably not see, I do actually have the green screen working pretty good right now, but some things have changed in the land of headquarters. And so um, I recently moved places. Uh, we were living in a pretty crappy house and now we're living in a pretty awesome apartment. So I have my own office now. So the audio might sound a little different. Uh, the visuals might look a little bit different. I'm using a new camera. Um, I was using a Canon 70D DSLR, pretty fancy camera before. Um, but it, as you know, in some of my other videos, the last one specifically, it kept freezing. And so I was fighting like hell with it to make it work consistently. So I just decided, you know what, I'm going to try out a new camera. And I bought a pretty budget webcam um, to just see if I could make one work. And it doesn't look too bad. I actually kind of like it. Um, so I've got some lights and a new green screen back here. But as you can see, like down here, it looks a little funny and on my arm over here when I lean to the side. And so I hope that none of these issues are going to scare anybody away. But I am having a new stuff. But this game came out and it's been out for a while, actually. Um, and I just wanted to try it, try a new horror game. And so I hope you guys are going to enjoy. So let's play Siren Head. Real quick, before we actually click play, I'm going to restart this game because there was some dialogue in the beginning I want to read. So uh, I'm going to restart it and I'll check back with you. All right, click left mouse button to read dialogue. All right, are you ready? We're going to read the dialogue. Welcome to the Siren Head Horror Experience. If you do not like a scary atmosphere, please do not play this game. Turn your lights off. Get in the mood. Oh, I'm in the mood. All right. Press F to toggle flashlight. Be careful. You'll lose sanity in darkness. Press T to ping your police cruiser just in case you get lost. Hold shift to sprint. If Siren Head gets too close, you will die. Make sure to keep your distance. Those kids are counting on you. Kids? Don't let them down. Okay, well, let's try. Let's just click play, I guess, and jump in. That's creepy as hell. What's he doing? Scratching his nublets? What the hell's going on there? I gotta get better at looking at the camera also because I have to realize I'm talking to people, hopefully. The one person watching this, thank you for watching. I'm gonna guess your name's probably Jared or something. Out on call, it's a bit chilly. Okay. Interesting. F shuts off. Oh man, our, look at our sanity in the bottom left. That some bitch is dropping quick. Look at oh, you guys can't really see. I'm on the I'm kind of blocking it here. I can move myself over real quick. Okay, there. Now you can see it a little bit better. Watch when I shut my flashlight off. Look how fast that is dropping down there. Holy cow, dude. Okay, well, uh T to ping our police cruiser. Okay. So, does our flashlight... I'm assuming our flashlight has a battery. I have no idea what the point in this game is. I have never... I just saw it on Steam. It was free. It was recommended. So, I'm like, sure, let's give it a shot. So, our stamina sucks butt. Uh, and our stamina is not refilling. Oh, okay, you have to completely deplete your stamina for it to refill. That sucks. A report came in about a group of teens that were camping here earlier this week. Okay. One of the parents reported them missing. Okay. Probably drunk and got lost. The forest goes on for miles. Oh, great. This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, it gives me the creeps too. So I, this was made in Unity, so you can tell like the Unity trees. And the Unity graphics are a little bit, like, semi more cartoony. So, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Whoa. We just got, like, widescreen. Place gives me the creeps. This must be where the kids were camping. I best look around. All right. Holy shit. That, that's a mushroom from Mario, bro. We're going to get six times our size. Here, follow him. Oh, there's a phone right there. Oh, one of five? Okay, so it looks like we're collecting phones. Uh, we're flame-proof, so that's good. That doesn't look good. Okay, we can't crouch. Best look around. This is strange. No one is here. What do you mean, no one is here? And there's blood and debris everywhere. I have to find these kids now. What is this? This is a human person, is it not? I genuinely don't know what to expect in this game. I like the widescreen. It makes me feel like I'm playing a movie. 
Oh, now we're out of it? So what? Ball sack. That's not good. Okay. Okay, what now? What are we what are we doing? What's the goal here? I'm gonna go toward that sound. I did hear a child scream or a police officer. So uh there's that. So why would our like does the flashlight run dead or something? Because like ah! What the fuck is that? can't run out okay i understand now i didn't know like once your sanity ran out it was over i had no idea that was the fucking premise of the game okay for some reason every time i play this game it like wigs my computer out like look at this do you see the aspect of this now it's so strange but when i click back into it it fixes itself so i don't know okay let's get back into it oh cool it restarts us back literally right here okay so if I shut my flashlight off by the fire, my sanity goes out too? Okay. Well, we found one of five phones. So it's looking like we're trying to find all the cell phones. Okay, so that was kind of like what my scream sounded like in the beginning of this when I first saw that thing crawling at me. Ow! I don't like shit crawling at me. I've never liked shit crawling at me. That weirds me out. Just don't, I don't particularly enjoy it. And it kind of snuck up on me too. I didn't like it. Oh, okay, what's this? I'm going to try to keep our flashlight off a little bit because it seems like that might attract him. What the fuck? Okay, go to hell. Someone put that there on purpose. Ew. Their eyes are missing. He's got Thor's hammer in here. What the fuck? It is speculated that these objects are of extraterrestrial origin. Dude, I see your ass. I see you right there. Oh. We need to run. I gotta get my sanity up. Fuck no. Fuck no. Hey, turn that back on. No. Okay, I don't know how to play this. I'm just running around like an idiot now. Sanity's full. Let's go this way. Okay, we gotta keep an eye on that sanity of ours. Okay, sanity's on. No! I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. He's walking away, he's walking away, he's walking away, he's walking away. Okay, uh, flash that on. Fuck! Still back there. What an asshole. I don't know what that did. I don't know what pinging our cruiser does. I think it just shows us, or like, makes us hear where the beginning of the park is, maybe? That's all I could think. I don't like that he's chasing you the whole goddamn time. Okay, this is something. Okay, we're gonna shut the light off. Just for a second. I gotta keep an eye on that. Okay, there we go. Our sanity is holding stronger here. This is not normal. No, it's fucking not. He's lurking. Siren someone. He's coming. I don't like that. Hi, how are you? Can I go up here? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, in here. We're safe. 
Okay, let's regroup for a second. So the sanity goes down when our flashlight's off, except for in here, because it must be light enough. This motherfucker crawls at you, and I'm 99% sure he's faster when he's crawling. And so that's terrifying. So we basically just need to find two more phones, I guess, and then escape. I don't know. Oh my god, he is terrifying. Okay, uh, we're gonna go in here. Ah! Fuck you. I don't know what to do. Okay, we're gonna run our stamina out so it will refill. And then I'm just gonna... Bust the left and head to the next block right now. Are you ready? I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. We're going to die. Okay, here it goes. Bust the left. Head to the next block. Okay, go, 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 go. I'm fucking dead. What? We just phased through the fucking... Fuck! I almost ran our sanity completely out. Shit. Does he not... He doesn't really pursue you when your flashlight is off. Okay, we can't let our sanity run out or we're fucked. Why is our heart beating? Well, I, I mean, I hope our heart's beating. I just mean, why was it beating so fast? Holy anal bead. That was crazy. Oh my god. Okay, run, 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 run. Flash that off. Run, 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 run. Okay, I think I've pretty much found the outskirt. What is this? Okay. What? What? Oh! I don't think I've ever made that sound in my entire life. I sounded like like a dog that got kicked in the nuts or something. Oh my god. Well, this is the same exact human being. Who did this to you? This is not normal. Why when I look at her feet... Their eyes are missing. Oh, God. oh, it's every time I look at them, it okay changes it a little bit. Okay. Fuck you, bud. Hey, go, 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 go. Hey, okay, let that recharge. Go, 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 go. And flashlight. I don't know where else to go. Oh! Let me run. Come on. Jesus. Okay, uh, I think that's the road. That looks like the road. There's the campsite. Okay, so we need to find something over this way. Ooh, fuck off. Something this direction, for sure. Okay, flashlight on. Don't die. Fuck. I hate that thing. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, fuck. Okay, there's gotta be. Oh, did we already find this one? Yeah, we already found that. Okay, damn it. Okay, what else? There's gotta be something right out here in the middle. This is the end of the map. I think. Why does my heart beat so hard when I'm over in that corner? Okay, 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 where'd he go? All right, there. Well, this looks like something. Oh, 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 oh. 
I need to get back to my car now? You see behind me, I don't want to turn around. He's behind me. That's the road, that's the road. Oh my god. I don't, I want to turn around. I'm running so fast. I want to turn around so bad, but I also don't. Oh, okay, he's just running like a maniac. Okay, what do I do? Oh, did we make it? Is that it? Is that the whole thing? After the events that transpired at the forest, you report your findings to the department. After hearing the news, they set out a quarantine zone around the forest, forbidding anyone to enter while they investigate. Initial reports say that there is no evidence of a mass homicide, nor remains of bodies. However, the children are still missing. The chief of police suggested that I take a couple of weeks off to clear my head. They don't believe me. I've been lying in bed every day since, too scared to move. This creature terrifies me. I know it was real. I keep hearing the noises. Okay. So that's it? Oh no, is there more? Can't move. Oh yeah, I can. Or it's moving. More of a cutscene, I guess. Pistola. Nice. We have no legs or body of any kind. <laughs> no, I didn't jump on that one. I did jump once throughout the game. Uh, maybe a couple times. I really hope you enjoyed this experience. Please leave a review. Game created and designed by Ironmonger Games. Programmer Thomas Ironmonger. Gameplay narrative design Thomas Ironmonger. Assistant 3D modeler Rageberry. Is Thomas Ironmonger your real last name, dude? Ironmonger? You're a badass, bro. How are you not just born a badass with that name? That was awesome. Ironmonger Games. Well, pretty good, dude. I don't is the, I don't know if this is your first game or or what, but like I've looked into trying to make games and it is not easy to do, and that's pretty badass that you produce something and put it out there. And it's a pretty solid Siren Head game. It did have a couple jumps. It was short, but it's all it needed to be. So uh, yeah, if I would have known this was going to be this short, I would have prepared like two more games to do like a three type situation. You know how they do like three spooky games or whatever. Um, but I didn't. So this is all I have for you today. So. I hope that this was an okay jump back into the channel. Um, I'm going to start making quite a bit more content. I've said that in the past, so I'm not going to promise anything, but I am going to make more content. And so now that I have a setup and an actual office and a little bit more time uh, and really good burps, I can actually get into making a little bit better content. And so I hope you guys continue to watch. And uh, yeah, check me out on Twitch too. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I do stream over there. I play a lot of different stuff. Um, I hope this doesn't kill a bunch of your guys' vibes coming into my channel, but I am going to stream and play on YouTube a lot different games coming up. I realized that I stuck with survival and horror this entire time, and I've just realized that survival and horror is not the only things I want to do. I have some personal interested, I have some personal interest in games that maybe don't fit what I put on my channel, and I've kind of not played them on my channel because I was afraid that the, the audience that I was trying to create and you know, uh, communicate with, wouldn't be interested in it. But the more I realize, I just want to play what I want to play and I'm going to stream it or record it anyway. Um, and so I'm going to be playing a lot of different stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy any of the content. And if you do drop a sub, drop a like, whatever, you know, the YouTube crap. Um, and so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.